morning. Um, I just had to see where I was. Sorry about the puffing and panting. Look at that. So, this is not my fault. I'm on the top of Orist Head. And the misconception about Orist Head is that it's a Wainwright, and much to my daughter's disgust after having done Orist Head, even though she'd driven it practically to the top, was it's not um, a Wainwright. It does have a Wainwright provenance because this is apparently the first peak, peak in inverted commas that Wainwright did that made him fall in love with um, the Lake District. And that's where, when he decided to walk all the other peaks, all 214 of them, and his favourite being um, Haystacks, which my friend Lucy from Lucy's on a Plate did yesterday. So congratulations, uh, Lucy. I'm not sure if you know, but Wainwright's ashes are scattered on Innominate Tarn, which is the tarn at the bottom of Haystacks, which ironically means the tarn with no name. So let's have a quick geography lesson. Hi, Carly. Hi, Hannah. Morecambe Bay. Uh, there's Landon Hill. <laughs> well, the Brant Bell and um, Gill Head. And then that's the bottom of Windermere Lake down there towards Lakeside and the south. These little hills just over here are uh, Clay Heights here. And then that little hill there, which Joe and I did the other day, is um, Latterboro. We sold a house in Hawkshead for a lovely guy called Joe who reckoned he could run up Latterboro and back down again. In fact, I think that's his house, that little tiny white one. Um, in about 22 minutes, so I don't know whether he had a rocket behind him, but that is pretty incredible. And then this is the Coniston range, so you've got Coniston, Swirl Howe, Brim, Weatherlam, that big beast there, I always think it looks like a bit of a slug. And then you've got the Langdale Valley over there, it looks like it's got a little bit of rain in it. So on this side you've got the uh, Langdale Pikes, you've got um, Paviark, which is the one on the right, the sloping one, and then the big lump is Harrison. And in between, if you know the area at all, there's a little track, so if you can get there, there, called Jack's Rake, which is quite treacherous, but some people have done it, not me. Um, and then round, you've got Loft, and then behind, you can't see, you've got um, Plaka Stickle. And in that bowl there, underneath the, underneath this bit kind of here, is a lovely tarn called Stickle Tarn, which means that over there must be Blee Rig, the big lump next to it, there. Sorry, I'm not pointing in the right direction maybe there um and that's tarn crag there because in between the two is the easdale valley and then over here you've got the crinkle crags you've got uh lingmore which is there where I'm, where I'm pointing is not where you can see me pointing sorry there and pike of blisco over there both fell which i think is the big one at the back and behind all that is scarfell and scarfell pike you just can't see them and then round here you've got the beautiful well that's fairfield the big one the lump up there and that forms a horseshoe above Ambleside that my friend Jo, Joanna Island from the Hen House, she did the other day, which is pretty incredible. It's about 12 miles. So well done, Jo. Um, and then, of course, round to the top of the lake there and round the corner, which you can't quite see, is Ambleside. Uh, you might just be able to see about there, as soon as I put my finger there, so it goes blurred, so I'll take my finger away, uh, like a castle structure. And that is uh, Ray Castle. And then you've also got the beautiful Valeray, which we sold. It just transacted last week there, and it's a little boathouse down there on the lake. Um, but uh, honestly, the lake this morning is like a mirror. And I know some of my crazy friends are right down there right now swimming in that lake. I think I'd rather be up here on Oris Ted, to be honest. But isn't that a beautiful morning? And then there's the dogs. <laughs> That's George and Teddy. And up there is the way over. Um, Kirkston Pass. So I can never remember the name of the big lump on the left. It's got a couple of names, like up or something. I can't remember. Uh, and then actually Hartsop. Is it Hartsop? Upper Hartsop or something. And then uh, you've got Red Screes on the left. And then on the right, you've got, um, in fact, what you can't see is one of my favourite fells, which is a flat bit right at the very back, which is High Street. And the two just before that, the two lumps that I always think looks like a dragon's back, uh, they are Loft and Ill Bell. There are two Ill Bells, and that's the Kentmere in Ill Bell. That's it. That's your lesson for the morning. How's that? She says nearly falling off. Isn't that gorgeous?
So for those of you who are just in bed or sat on a sofa or enjoying your breakfast or herding children, thinking about work, that's just a little bit of peace and quiet. Well, not very peaceful when I'm talking over it, but relatively peaceful. I'll let you listen to all the lambs. Can you see the lambs down there? <laughs> I love how the ewes tell the lambs off and then they come. Isn't that just lovely? So I'll leave you with that lovely view. Whatever you're doing on this bright and relatively sunny Tuesday, have a good one.